Well, good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Amanda Barron. It takes a lot of work to get water in and out of homes and in Huntington, the infrastructure needed to do that is very outdated. As we've reported in the past, the city has been dealing with problems for decades. Lane Ball has our story. A huge feat to fix an ongoing problem the city of Huntington has been dealing with for decades. It's over $250 million worth of uh, project improvements or infrastructure improvements across our sanitary and stormwater system. The Huntington Water Quality Board upgrade project will replace aging infrastructure all over the city in five phases. Now the first project includes segregating stormwater and sewer and Huntington Water Quality Board Executive Director Brian Bracey tells me that will prevent areas like this from looking like this. A big, big improvement for that area that has seen flooding repetitively for decades and, and all over a half a century. The second project on the list helps those just outside of the city limits. The line extension uh, running out of the city out uh, to many of our residents that live outside the city boundaries but are in an area that is unserved by sewer. Um, so that's out Route 10 uh, through Green Valley and Norwood. The third and fourth projects will replace two of the largest pump stations located on 13th Street West and 4th Street. And the final piece of this puzzle will not just affect Huntington. The largest of the projects is the wastewater treatment plant, which is a regional plant and one of the few in the state of West Virginia and the largest in the state of West Virginia. While this hits a lot of the major infrastructure issues, there's still more work to do. You're talking billions of dollars. We have 300 mining miles, miles of lines, 500 manholes, uh, 5,600 catch basins, we have two pump stations that are rebuilt. That's two out of 42. Um, so we still have a lot more work to be done. Moving forward, Bracey says they're looking to federal officials in hopes of getting the funding they need to fix what's only going to get worse. In Huntington, Lane Ball, 13 News. The projects are being paid for through the most recent rate increase through the Huntington Water Quality Board, as well as ARPA and grant funding. The first two projects are expected to be finished by 2027. The last three are expected to be finished by 2030.